Okay, in this video, what we're gonna do is a little simulation on um, picking eight things from a particular list, and then we wanna see how plausible um, the results are, right? So the scenario, this is from the book, uh, The Practice of Statistics. It's about hiring discrimination. Um, we have 15 male and 10 female applicants, um, and they're just gonna use kind of a lottery system to decide uh, who gets eight jobs. And what happens is, um, of the eight jobs, five end up female and three end up male. Um, so, uh, and then some of the men are complaining that it wasn't totally random. And so what we're gonna do is simulate this and just figure out like how likely was that or how unlikely was it? So let's see what we need to do. First thing we need to do is we need to enter this data. So I'm gonna go to list and spreadsheets and what I'm gonna do is name column A. So I'm arrowing up, I'm just gonna name it pool for the pool of applicants, right? And then, uh, so we have 15 male and 10 female applicants. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use M for male and F for female. So I'm gonna type an M here. And now what I need to do is I need to basically type an M uh, in the next 14 rows so that I get 15 total M's. But nobody wants to do that. So I'm gonna press menu and then option three for data and then option three for fill and then just press down. And I'm gonna keep going until I get to 15. Okay, 15, press enter. And what we've done is filled in all 15 M's. And now what I'm gonna do is press F for female and do the same thing. So menu, option three, option three, and we're gonna go down until we get to 25. Okay, so we've got 15 males, 10 females. If you're not really sure, there's a function you can use, it's called count if. Um, so it's equals, and then I'm gonna do count, I'm just gonna type it out, count if, and then uh, pool, so I can use var pool, uh, comma m. So count if uh, the number, the things that are in, what am I saying? I'm gonna count how many m's there are in pool and press enter, and I get 15. I can modify this to count if f. And it's 10, so I got 15 males and I have uh, 10 females. So I've got the data in there correctly. Now what we wanna do is we want random samples, right? So I'm going to say equals, and let's see if I can find this. So menu, I don't know if I can get it in here. Uh, data maybe, random. I want, oh, I do want a random sample and it won't let me do it. So what I can do instead is doc for, let's add a calculator page. And I can definitely do it here, right? So menu, option uh, five, option four, option five, random sample. I want a random sample from pool and I'm gonna take eight and I don't want replacement. So I'm gonna say comma one. Uh, and if I press enter, you can see there I got uh, male, female, female, male, female, male, female, female. So I actually got a lot of females in that particular pool, uh, in that particular sample. So I also am gonna wanna count that, right? So I'm going to use that count if thing, right? So count if, so I don't actually know where count if is in the menus, but if you um, go to the, not the templates, if you go to the catalog and uh, press option one, just to make sure you're on the first tab, and press option C to get to um, C in the alphabet, and keep going until you get to, it's probably faster to type in count if. Here we go, count if. It's gonna be count if, the list, and then the criteria. So count if, my list is random sample pool A1, and then uh, my criteria is F for female. So the disadvantage of this is that I will not see the list that it's picking from, but there were four females in there, then two, then one, et cetera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this, and that's control C, and then I'm gonna paste it, which is control V. So control C to copy, control V to paste. It lets you do things on the calculator page and then just put them into a spreadsheet, and press enter. And so I got two females in that particular sample. Now I'm gonna do this, uh, let's say a hundred times. So to do that, I'm just gonna drag this down or fill it, right? So menu three, option three, and let's just go until we're down at a hundred. So I'm just holding down 50, 60, blah, 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 we're going, okay. And 100, press enter. 
So it's done a hundred times. You can scroll through and see that every time it's just doing count if, random sample, pool, selecting eight things, no replacement, and then counting how many females are in the result. All right, so we have a good idea of what's happening. What I wanna do now is go back up to the very top and name this. Uh, I'm gonna name it F count for how many, the count of females, right, F count. And now I wanna look at this and just see what happens. So uh, I'm gonna insert, so doc four, let's insert data and statistics. And now I need to tell it what to do. So I'm gonna add down here a variable. When I click, it's all my available things. So I have something called F count, which is the number of females in each, pool, in each uh, sample that I selected, and then the total pool, which I really don't want. The total pool, if I choose that, uh, you can see, right? It's gonna be the eight females and then the 15 uh, males who applied for this job. But I wanna see what happened with my 100 random samples. And so you can see that uh, there, was a, there was actually one sample that gave me zero females. That's, that seems very unusual. Um, and then four. So the disadvantage here is that you can't really, you can see like relatively what was the most frequent. So three was definitely the most frequent. But you know, five is not super unusual. So I would say this is not an unusual thing. Random chance could definitely have made that happen. Um, we even got six several times. It looks like five times. Um, so this is just a visual representation. The real uh, value here, I think, is the simulation that we did, right? So we created our data, or um, we recreated it on the calculator. So we used fill a lot for that. And then we were able to go to the calculator page and do our count if, random sample, pool, eight. So we choose eight things. Um, we don't want replacement, so that's one. And then uh, we're counting if the result is F for female. And we pasted it back in and filled down, put in this, uh, what is this even called? Statistics, data and statistics. Yeah, data and statistics page. Uh, and looked at this. You can, while you're here, you can change this up. You can go to plot type, box plot. If you're familiar with box plots, it'll create that for you. So minimum was zero, Q1 is two, Q3 the median, uh, Q2 rather, uh, wait, Q1 was two. The median, which is Q2, was three. That's confusing. Oh my God, Q3 was four, and then the maximum was six. No outliers. So not super unlikely, just a rare event, but it could happen. Um, we could also change it to, uh, what else? We got a histogram here. Histogram is nice because uh, it'll give you like the actual count, right? So this is including three, not including four, there were 34 of them, um, including four, not including five, so four. Uh, there were 20, and then we can see there were 15, and then there were five sixes. Um, so all of this is really useful. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.